seven. Three. Ten. Ten. Three.
10. Five more minutes, crew, five more minutes. One minute, one minute remaining at 2.50. If all the athletes could meet behind the blue curtain staging area, that would be fantastic at 2.50.
Athletes, athletes, please report to the Blue Curtain staging area under the word Mountaineers. Good afternoon and welcome to day three of the 2023 USA Diving National Championship. I am your announcer, Aaron Rooney, and I, alongside Milan Park and USA Diving, welcome you to the Milan Park Aquatic Center for this afternoon's men's platform synchro and women's three meter synchro. Now I would like to introduce you to Christopher Conrad. Christopher is a local musician who recently moved to Morgantown from Charleston, West Virginia. He has been performing for years with local bands and theater and traveled extensively, including residing in Japan for 10 years. He has worked with cruise lines and been a backup singer. He has also recorded albums and done sessions with global recording artists. Christopher works at Oliverio's, a local downtown Italian eatery that he'd love to have our participants and spectators come by for a great dining experience. Christopher will now sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched we're so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Thank you. Yeah, let them know, Christopher. Well done. Hey guys, this is day four of the national championships here in Morgantown, West Virginia. My name is Nick Cover, and I am here with... Hi, I'm Sophie McAfee. Um, I'm going to be a junior at Purdue. And I just graduated here at West Virginia. So today we have the synchronized men's platform event and then we have the synchronized women's three meter events. And this is our final. We had prelims here in the morning. Um, it was a great event and the scores are cumulative, so keep that in mind. Yes, what, what athletes are you really excited to see? Um, well, this is a little bit of a bias, but I'm really excited to see Jordan Rezumka and Brendan Lociavo on men's 10 meter. They were the winners of the prelim event and I dive with them every day. So I'm very excited to see what they have for us in the finals. Yes, I watched the prelims and they looked really good. And for the women, I'm very excited to see Sarah Bacon and Cassidy Cook. Cassidy, the 2016 Olympian, yes. Yes, they did very good. And also, Sam Pickens and Kendall Knight really did well in the prelims. I love their synchro. Their lines are really gorgeous. They're really together. Yes, they are. So, 
what is like the scoring guidelines for synchro? Okay, well, this is different um, than individual Athletes, courses. Athletes, please we report three to the blue staging area. Scores for each person, so three judges are dedicated, one diver to just watch, and they're going to be watching the entire time, and that's so three judges for each diver, and then there's five overall for synchro. And then you pick the best score from each and, and take out the two bottom lowest scores and the two highest scores. And so it really matters how your synchro is because that's one third of your score. Right. It's really important and it mm -hmm. really takes time to practice. Yes, it they does. They train <laughs> hours and hours with their synchro partner. And when they hit, it looks really good and a fun it's, event to watch. It is a really fun event to watch. I love synchro. It's one of my favorites to compete. Also, I don't have a synchro partner sadly at this <laughs> meet, but it's really exciting and it's really fun to just have someone by your side while you're diving. Right. Actually, before this, the meet started, mm -hmm. I actually, me and my one of my old teammates did some synchro and now it's so much fun doing it's synchro. It's so much fun. It just makes it like, it's still nerve wracking, but it's just so much better when you have someone yep. up there. Absolutely. Because diving is a really scary sport. Like yeah. that doesn't get talked about enough. It is a no. scary sport. It really is, but when you have someone up there doing it with mm. you, understanding what it's like, Absolutely. it makes it a whole lot better. Yes, it does. And just like catching eye with them and being like, okay, we can do this, like we're in this together. Right. It's great. Yeah, and it's really cool, like before the dive, they like have a little like their routine, oh, yeah. fist bombs and stuff. I love seeing like what they have to do, like before they get on the board. Like, right. They're in it with each other for, throughout the entire Let's meet, like, meet our finalists the in the synchronized oh, exactly. men's platform. So this Diving is your first. second time here in Morgantown, right? Layton you were here Dean for winners. And Noah Turner. Turner. What is it like here in Morgantown? What do you? What is like what you really enjoy here? Um, about the pool. I Diving guess second. I love this facility. Max I like the energy Flory it has. and like, Zach really just tell we're Cooper. Meet. And that's always super exciting. Oh, I guess. Oh, they are starting the walkout. So that your was top Max qualifiers and Zach diving Cooper. third. Up Jordan Rezepka and Brandon Loschiavo. There they are from Purdue. The your your from school. Purdue, yes. yes. Um, and they both have been diving. Now let's meet our finalists really in the synchronized yeah. women's three meter. Doing diving first. And so Kayla really Jensen and Mari Kwan. Really right. And the first pair, Lenton Dean and Noah Turner, are both from Memphis. They are a younger pair. Yes, they diving are. second. They are throwing, and 14, Ella Rossi. They are 14 and, and 7 looking. And they are throwing some big dives. Yeah, so that's impressive to very see. Impressive. 14 is a very young age. Diving now third, we're seeing the girls Krista walk out. Palmer and Kristen yes, and there was 17 Hayden. This morning and top 12 made it to finals. It's actually top eight. Top eight? Top Diving eight. fourth, oh, I, I, I was taking Anna Yurkin you're good, you're and good. Taylor Fox. But yes, it was really fun to watch. I'm really excited for finals. I'm very excited. They all look Diving fifth, in. Bailey they Sturgill do. and Lily Whitty. It's like this environment so fun mm -hmm. and enjoyable. Diving like, six, so energetic. And yeah, that's Fowler really cheering and Carolina like, Sculpty. It's a very supportive group diving, oh, I would for say. Sure. Diving I'm seven. Diving like a small world. Mm -hmm. Everyone Knight knows each other. It's I've Sam known you for years. It's, it's so cool. It's a great community. It is. And diving Kevin, eighth, your Sam. top qualifiers, yep. and then here are Sarah Cassidy Bacon Cook and Sarah Cassidy Bacon. Cook. I like their matching outfits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they always feel like they're... They always got a set going on. Oh, it's here for they all do. the they finalists. Make a statement uh -huh. With their clothes and their diving. Yes, they do. Perfect. So now I think they're about to start. Um, but what, what got you into diving? Mm. Well... I tried a bunch of different sports when I was younger, and none were just like enough. As a reminder, this nothing event will be live streamed and can enough. be and accessed by going to the USA Diving homepage I on USA Diving's meter, Facebook and like, or to on USA Diving's thing. YouTube yeah. channel. So excited. Thank you, and, and good luck to today's competitors. Right, that's cool. Like most people look at that and like, I never want to do it. But I was, I was so intrigued. I was like, I need to go off of that. Yeah. Were you ever a gymnast before? Not really, no. I know a lot of gymnasts come into diving and they just have such a knack for it. Like Exactly. Mm -hmm. I was a gymnast growing would, up. Oh. Didn't didn't have a team really around and my parents put me into diving and right away I loved it. Loved it. And then I remember jumping off the 10 meter the first time, I fell in love instantly. Exactly. I loved well, the yeah. divers are that was my favorite. So 10 meter was like always one of my favorite. Everyone terrifying, of the terrifying. welcome amazing. reception and that I'm for all here, coaches, um, Sunday, athletes, and meet staff yes. on the yes. second floor of the I'm very excited. It should be a good event. I'm excited to watch it. I always like watching the 10 meter event. Absolutely. And this is the We have goodie bags for everyone. As National long as well as Japan a free June, catered dinner. July, July. We'll see you all there. Four people already qualified for this yeah. event. Yep, very the exciting. Tyler Downs and Greg Duncan. Absolutely, yep, on three meter. And then on tower, Jessica Corrado and Delaney Chanel. Delaney Chanel, And yes. then we also have our mixed synchro pairs, actually. That was, was it Cassidy Cook and Tyler Downs? 
Athletes, they... you may take your warm up bounce. They did. <laughs> we need a cheat sheet up here, don't we? And then we? we have some <laughs> more information. All right. Well, it looks like we are about to start here, or I think it's warming up right now. One yeah. last dive, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll have a little get and dive, and then we'll start the event just to I warm gotcha. up our body, get the blood flowing. So you went, you go to Purdue, and truth be told, David Bodai is your coach. Yes. Olympic gold medalist <laughs> from 2012. What's that like? It's actually, it's indescribable. He's so funny on the pool deck. I mean, he's literally has such good insight. Like, he always knows what to say because he's been in it with us. Oh, yeah. Like, he clearly has very good first-hand knowledge, but he's so sassy, so it just <laughs> makes it so much better. I love that. But David Badaya working with Adam Soldati is just an mm -hmm. exceptional pairing. They yeah. work really well together. They're both so talented and so smart. Like, they treat diving as, like, it's like a science to them. Yeah, and, it's and that's cool. what I love about it. It's cool. David Badaya actually dove for Adam Sadati, uh, and yes. now they could together. Working together. So that's like a perfect pair. It really is. They really know each other well. They work super well together. But David Badaya is here with the Purdue team at mm -hmm. nationals, and he's he's so incredible. He always knows what to say, and he. It's just as he's been there with us. He's yeah, like, he knows what it's like to come yes. and knows what to get you into He knows that we're that stressing out a little bit right now, and he's like, what can I say to calm down my diver's Right. Bit? I think it's so cool. I know, you just got, you call him Dave. I've never heard of anyone call him Dave. Yeah, I know. He's Dave now. He's Dave to me. I hear Dave, and I'm like, I only know him as David Budaya. Sometimes I'm like, on my phone, I'm like, I just texted David Budaya. I was like, <laughs> Olympic world champion. I was like, what is that? That's this? the funniest thing, but like, he's your coach and like a good friend. Yeah, and he's so funny. It's That's awesome. <laughs> so cool. It's pretty incredible. Yes. So you're competing on Sunday. On what Sunday. dives are you really looking forward to compete? Ooh. Will the men's tower please to report to the tower? C, which is a reverse Be ready dive. to go. It's my favorite dive by far. I've been doing it for so many years, <laughs> at least like six by now. And it's just like one of those things where I get up to 10 meter and I just, I feel relaxed. I'm right. up there, I'm like looking down at the water. I'm like, I know what I'm doing. And that's a very comforting feeling. Right. And I, and Recently, I've been calling towers. I'm seeing you up there dancing, sitting around. I'm like, she's ready. She's I have fun with it. it. I think if you're going to be here, like, you need to have some fun oh, with exactly. it. Oh, exactly. Like, this Enjoy is a business it. trip for sure, but we're also, like, here to have some fun, yeah. smiles, dancing. Mm -hmm. And we're here with all of our friends. Like, I have my teammates who are here with me, but also just people from other teams. Like, as I was saying, how diving is a very, like, supportive community. Like, we're all here for each other. Right, exactly. Like, we know the ins and out of the sport, and we know that we need to be there for each other. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah. That's always good. Like it everyone knows great. what it's like to be here, mm -hmm. so they know how to support each other. Absolutely. And we're very we are ready to begin yeah. round I would one. Say a lot of synchronized men's and women's dives, which is always because it's all very exciting. Like we're Noah excited Turner. to see just as much. Exactly. B. So I think we're about to start. Mm -hmm. um, the first pair is Lenton Dean and Noah Turner from our fest, and these are the younger crew. And in synchro, the first two dives are called voluntary dives, and they'll have. A DD of 2.0, and they're going to be easier than what we'll see in their last four for the men, last three dives for the women. One moment, please. Um, the last three and the last four are called optional dives. Reannouncing the dive. Those are the dives Leighton that you'll Dean see a lot of Turner, flipping, Turner, a lot of twisting. 103B. Lots of movement happening in the optional yes. dives. They're very exciting, but it's very important to start with the basics, the voluntaries. Right. And they are starting with a front one and a half pike up there on the 10 meter. Mm -hmm. This is a very good dive to start with. Let's see how they do it. That was a that very nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. That sound you hear is a rip entry, mm -hmm. which means no splash, and it sounds like ripping paper. Execution I, I love score. It. I and love you also seven, heard one sound which means it entered at the same time, which is seven, a very good sign. Yeah, that's, that's what we're looking for. Exactly. The judges scores, are looking for six and same and half, distance, seven same height, and a half. Mm -hmm. and exactly seven. I think they did a good job. Seven and a half. They did. Very solid first time. Max Glory and Zach Cooper. They're a young group. And it's hard not having the experience. Like That's why it's important to come to these meets and meet trying to get in all these dives with these big incredible competitors exactly next up we have max flory and zach cooper both from miami yes both both diving under randy who is also really awesome he couldn't be here at this meet but he is a great coach and they've been doing synchro for years now they really know each other They're i've known max for probably since i was 11 years old and i'm 23 oh, so it's really <laughs> cool seeing these guys grow up wow okay i really like that i liked how they were so in sync that their legs went up to the vertical position at the same right. time, which is really difficult to do. Execution scores. Yes, it, it just shows nine, how much they practice nine and, a half, and how much they know each other. Eight and a half. Seven and a half. Eight and a half. Synchronization scores. That was a very eight and half, great first time. Eight and a half. And you were hitting that water half, about 35 miles an hour, so it eight. is a hard entry to it hit. It is a hard entry. 
You definitely feel Jordan the next Jordan and Brandon oh, yes. Lociavo, 103B. And next we have the Purdue team, Jordan yes. Rezepka and Brandon Lociavo. The winners of the preliminary event. I'm excited to watch this Me event. Me too. I'm really excited to see them. They're doing the same dive that Leighton and Noah did. A front one and a half pike. And I'm excited to see them because it winners. Brandon hurt his wrist, so. He did, so they weren't able to dive. Now that was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. That was the cleanest entry that we've seen so far. They were really in sync with their dive. Execution and I scores. Like a lot of divers. Eight and a half. Eight. They have like a little routine, and, and they eight and walk half. up the same. Eight, eight and a half. Arms up the Synchronization same. scores from the moment nine. they Nine. Nine. Which is something nine. that people don't know. Is eight that and a half. You're being watched nine. the entire event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Getting wow. round Some one. There. That's synchronizing that's women's exciting. three. Impressive. That's a big dive. Kayla Jensen and they Mari Huang. They just increased by one point. 52-31 deep. Wow. Now we're on to the three meter synchro events. We have Kayla Jensen and Mariana Hong from Woodlands Diving, so they mm. are a younger pair. They are doing a back one and a half with a half twist. Which you don't see that often, you a don't. twister in the voluntaries. It's a little bit harder to sync up and it's a harder dive, and right. so some people choose to do easier dives and start off with that, start off a little bit more basic, but right. that was a very they, good start for them. They handled it very well. It's hard because you have Execution to make sure the scores. Absolutely. Time, seven, mm -hmm. the pike six, down, pike down, six, down, six, it, yes. six and a half, well. seven, six and a half. Next up we have Synchronization Ella scores, and, seven, six and a half, uh, six, and a half six and a half, six and a half. They are doing an six and a half. pike. And they're from Ella Rosselli and, and Avery Geis, 401 me. He's done a really great job with all of those divers. And we have a lot of pairings um, of Mission Viejo here. We do. They have a beautiful pool out there. It is gorgeous. I've never been out, but I so want to go out. It was redone in, I think, like 2018. Mm -hmm. It is truly an exceptional pool. It is. If you can dive outside. Not everyone likes it. Most right. divers don't. I enjoyed it when I could. <laughs> Didn't do it often, though. I grew up diving in it, so I always <laughs> loved it. That was also a really nice dive. Their entries were really beautiful. Yes. That was a very clean dive. Very good. Execution scores. And next seven up we and have six Krista and a half, Palmer seven, and Kristen Hayden. Seven and, and a half. They had a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Prelims. Synchronization yes, the scores. Was a little bit rough for eight them. Eight and a half. Um, seven and a half. I think they're really seven, excited for the final, eight, though. They're they ready to seven. Mm -hmm. This is also an Olympian. but yes. Krista Palmer and she's Kristen Hayden. She is. Yeah. 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 So she's been to some pretty intense mm -hmm. meets. She knows what pressure is like. Oh, exactly. And Kristen Hayden's been diving for a long time. Yeah, she's so diving with Drew Johansson in Indiana. In Indiana. Mm -hmm. She's gone to a few worlds, so she also is very well equipped. Yes, and I'm sure many of these divers are looking forward to Olympic trials. Yes, I bet you coming, are. Um, yep, absolutely. That's what we've been training for for a very long time. That's <laughs> so exciting. They will be doing a inward dive pike, a very common dive you'll see mm -hmm. here in this first round. Wow. We are just going to say wow all day, Yes, we are. <laughs> that was fantastic. And I would be happy to say wow for yes, every dive. Yes, me too. Execution very good score. dive. They came together. Mm -hmm. The pike was together. Yes. And they both lined Seven up and a half. very good. Very eight. good. I love Seven the sound of the board when you're coming I off. Do. That was eight. Mm, eight. Mm -hmm. music to my ears. Synchronization <laughs> scores. Seven and a half. Eight. So eight you half, also do springboard nine, as well. I also eight. do springboard. I'm not doing that this meet. Just and Anna Lemkin on and board. Taylor you know, Fox, 101 B. Divert all of your energy into one thing. Exactly. I love springboard. I right. do collegiately all the time. Mm -hmm. Three meters is very fun. Part of me wishes I could be in this event. Right. Or be in the individual event. There's a front dive pike from mm -hmm. Anna Lincoln and Taylor Fox. Now that was the first hurdle that we've seen. That Those was. are a lot harder to sync up because there's a lot more to it. It's not just right. a, like a few presses. You have mm -hmm. like a hop and a Execution hurdle. Execution scores. You can see that they got Six off a little half. bit. Just Seven and a half. Seven and a half. But they pulled it together. And they did. There. And it's, it's interesting. Seven and a half. One of the first Seven and a half. Seven. Yeah. Seven. But the, one of the last things scores. you I don't know if you ever put that I don't know if you ever did. I have not. I have not either. Six. But very impressive. Bailey Sturgill and Lily Witty. And it's you have to find B. a very specific person to dive with when you mm -hmm. do synchro. You make, gotta make sure your hurdles are correct. Absolutely. The same body type, same height. You have to flip at the same speed because right. we all flip differently mm -hmm. at different rates. But Next up, we have Bailey Sturgill and Lily Witty. That was a very nice 103B. Mm -hmm. Front one half pike from them. Yes, it was. They didn't get as much height as their pair that we saw before them, but they were at the same time, which is really important. Execution I think scores. Seven, right. seven, seven, six, 
Seven, six and a so half. So what's something that most divers score before they die? Six and, like, and a half, six and a half. Seven, they die seven, like, seven. Yeah, that's a really good question. I would Ann say Fowler and Carolina Sculpty, 401B. Accomplish that they want to mm -hmm. in the dive, and that can range from anything that you're focusing on. Others will just simply say some affirmations, like, right. you can do this, you got it, you mm -hmm. are capable of this, which I think is underrated. Like, right. your mentality is so important in diving. Exactly. I would say one of the most. Like, physicality absolutely is important, but... Being your mentality, mentally prepared, mm -hmm. being mentally strong. And confident, exactly. all of it. I would so, say that's the biggest part of diving. Oh, exactly, for sure. Oh, here we have Ann Fowler and Linus Skulti. They actually did synchro um, when they were younger, and yes. then they took a little break for a second, and I'm so glad to see them back at it again. They are a very good pair together. They are. Execution you don't scores. see it when you look at them. Eight and a half, eight and a half, eight, they work so seven well and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half. That was a really good Synchronization scores. Seven and a half, them. eight. They are just both seven and a half, divers. seven very and a half, clean, seven and a half. Dynamic. I love Kendall Knight and them. Sam Pickens. Next up, we have beat. Kendall Knight and Sam Pickens. Yes, they are also going to do a front dive pike. Our second place team from the prelim. I'm excited to see what they have in store for us. And I actually dove on Tuesday, and during the practice, I got to talk to Sam a little oh, bit. And I love she, her. She's so nice. She's super so sweet. Great. Yes. So I'm excited to watch her dive. And, and I really like them together. They look very similar. They they were a little off in the hurdle. They were. That was interesting to me. It they got it back together once they got into their pike, but yeah. they were a little off. That and the whole hurdle. That Execution ball, scores. Seven and a half. 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 Absolutely. Sarah Bacon and Cassidy Cook. Sarah Bacon and Cassidy Cook. Representing the USA diving suits. Yes, it looks very clean, very nice. And they're starting with a back dive pike. They both been to many international meets, so mm -hmm. they know what it's like to be under pressure. And and they just got, I um, think, silver in Montreal right, not too long yes. ago, which is very exciting. Very good. Coming off that high and hope, hopefully continuing yeah. it through here. <laughs> wow. Very pretty. Such a pretty dive from them. Back that dive pipe. Pointed toe, straight yes. leg. What more can you ask for? Absolutely. That was very beautiful. <laughs> Cassie Cook had a little bit of trouble with that dive, just falling a hair Execution short of the prelim, scores. But she nailed it there. Nine. She did. Nine. And they're nine, hoping to, they, if they made any mistakes or anything, nine, small adjustments from half. prelims, they're hoping to make that score. adjustment here eight, in the finals. Eight, eight and a half. That's why you always want to get another chance to Seven and a half. Yes. There's always eight. more that you wish you could have mm -hmm. done in the prelim. I know And the final gives you an opportunity. Ready to begin round two. Synchronized mental. I know they're looking Dean forward to Turner. making a full three. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. For they know, yourself, if anything. They know they can do the dive well, mm -hmm. and they want to show it off for everyone Absolutely. and the judges. Yes. Back to the men's 10-meter synchro. Yes, here with Lenton and Noah. Our doing, young ones. <laughs> yes, very young. That is impressive. Only 14, 14 doing some dives that you see in the Olympics. You're only allowed to start diving 10-meter at... 14 right. and nationals and for juniors mm -hmm. and so he's probably really new to this right that was a very nice inner one and a half pike that is a one volunteer you don't see too mm -hmm. often execution in scores and I six and a half seven and a half six and a half seven 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 and a half synchronization scores like cover seven seven and a half seven but you don't have to worry about that seven and a half and so i think most flooring and cooper 201 b and so they don't have to do an inward in their voluntaries right and the four category or the five categories are forward backwards reverse inward and twister Next up, we have the Miami crew, Max and Zach. They are going to be doing a back dive pike. That, I found a new love for that dive. From yeah, I have, it's crazy. That's a scary one. It <laughs> is. It's underratedly scary. Very scary. You think because it's only half a rotation, it would be easy, but when you're that high up, yeah, you need to have a lot of control. Exactly, and that is what control looks like on a back yes, dive pike. Is. Max Glory slightly over rotated, but that was overall very clean. Yeah. Execution scores. And when you over rotate half, sometimes eight, or under rotate, eight and a half, depending or over rotate eight, on front, seven and a half, you have seven and a half. That a pipe Synchronization save scores. Or inward or eight, knee save, eight, eight, and that eight, can make it eight, look like eight and a half. You entry. Yes, and also just help. Rezepka you and Lociabo, three hundred one B. Right, and it makes just the dive look so much better. Yes. Next up is your teammates. Yes. Jordan and Brandon. Go boys doing their 301B, which is a reverse dive pike. 
And I saw them doing this in warm up and it looked really good. So hopefully they can do it in the meets. They've been working on this dive a lot in practice, so I'm excited for them. Not too bad. Not, Not too, too bad. bad. They, you can see that they pressed out of their pike at slightly different times, which we're always looking for perfection, but their individual dives were very nice. Execution very scores. No eight and a half. Very eight and a half. Nine. Eight, seven, seven, seven and a half. Here's an eight. Seven. Seven. Here's an eight. Yeah, that's, that's, great. that's always what you want to hear. So I bet the eight, first six eight scores would be a little bit higher because there's the seven. individual scores. The so first three. Beginning round were, two. I think synchronized the women's three meter. Jackson and Close to us or on the left beat. side of the platform. Mm -hmm. And then the right side of the platform or springboard would be the diver. The second. The next th set of three scores. Yep. Now we're heading to three meter with Kayla Jensen and Mariana Hong. For our second round of volunteers for the women. That was a very nice reverse dive pike yes, for them. Yes, it was. And once we get through this round, I think the scores will increase just because the depth execution will be more. scores. The will be higher, six, yes. six, and that's six, when we six get and a half. Really fun dive. Yes. Six and a half. But volunteers seven, are very important. Seven. They're very important. The Synchronization yes. scores. And that's why they have six and a half. Seven. Six and a half. Seven. Seven. Very in sync throughout all of the Roselli like, the, and Geis. Exactly. One oh three B. A lot of times, I think volunteers are like more pretty just because you show off the really good lines. The elegance of diving. Exactly, and I think that's also important in. Um, with the fastening dive mm -hmm. of the optionals. Here we have our first set of Mission Viejo divers. El Roselli, who's committed to IU. Pretty good. I think the, um, I think it was Ella who was closer, actually hit the water just a little sooner. Mm -hmm. But and you can execution see that scores. How far away are they seven, the board was six, a little bit six and a half. Really trying to just like seven, sync seven, up every seven and a half. Exactly. Synchronization scores. And it is not an easy thing seven, to do. Seven, 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 Next up, we have Kristen Hayden and Krista Palmer, and I really like those suits. They're I very. I was just gonna comment on that. They look uh -huh. like leotards. They <laughs> do. <laughs> They're sparkling color. I remember in the prelims, they were wearing like a like a black mm. version of that, very sparkly, very yes, cool. Very sparkly. I liked it also. That's not something I don't. I'm not used to seeing sparkly suits. I've never seen sparkles in diving. Mm -hmm. I like them brightening it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they are doing a reverse side pike. Very good. I like yeah. that one. Me too. I noticed in the prelims, Chris or Kristen was having trouble with her hurdle. Mm -hmm. So far, it looks like she's down control. Seven and a half. Seven. Seven and a half. Diving seven in the and morning, and like seven and a half. Eight and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. I am not. I was not a plane diver. I looked rough seven. in the morning. Seven and a half. I never spent as fast. So you eight. often see eight and a half like, with finals and like the adrenaline just being out of finals. Lemkin and Fox. Fifty-two. Thirty-one deep. And magnified in a good way. And they know they were done their list once. So now they can mm -hmm. just do it again. Just do it again. Exactly. Next up, we have Anna and Taylor, another Mission Viejo pairing. They are going to be doing a back one and a half half, another twister ball. Pretty good. I noticed, I noticed that they actually mm -hmm. twisted toward each other. Yeah. Does it matter to the judges if you twist away or at the same execution same direction? score? You don't have to twist six, the same direction, six, but it definitely six, looks cleaner when you are twisting the same direction. Six and a half. Seven. Right. Seven. But, but overall, synchronization just, scores. Like, how you are with synchro seven and a half. Total. Seven. And so seven. That's not really something you seven, can change, is like your direction seven, of the twist. So yeah. if you found the right partner and you Sturgill have to twist the like, witty. opposite ways, then it's 51, okay. 32 D. It definitely looks cleaner when you're twisting. It does, having the same direction. Next up, we have Bailey Sergil and Lily Witty. That was our first front twister we saw. It was, and I really liked how they twisted together. That was yeah. very pretty. Perfect timing, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Execution Very scores. To watch. Six and a half. Seven. Seven. Did you like back twisters six or and front half, twisters more? Six and a half. Ah, six and a half. Six and a half. I was always a back twister. Synchronization girl. I scores. I actually learned my first front twister seven, in college. Seven. Really? Addison seven and a half. Like, we seven. Need to be doing front eight. Twisters. You never did front twisters and growing up. Like, uh, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> he was like, you beat. stubborn little girl. Yes, you are. And here I am. And now it's one of my favorite dives on three meters. That, so. what, what dive is it? It's full out. That is a fun dive. It's a little challenging to get. Once you learned it. Oh, exactly. It's a very difficult dive. And we'll see a bunch of people doing that dive here in this final. Yes, here is Anne and Carolina Sculpty. Carolina's from, or she dove at Stanford and... Collegiately, and now she's diving with Hong Ping at USC. Right. And Anne Fowler's at IU. She's going to be a senior. 
That was a very pretty dive. And Execution yeah, so we're gonna score. Both, we're going to see both of them seven. individual. Six and a half. Mm -hmm. seven. Uh, most of these seven are going to be individual. Seven, seven and a half. half. Seven and a half. Synchronization seven scores. Seven and a half. Six and a half. Seven and a half. Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half. It is a lot. And it's a long and meet and a one. lot of diving. Especially if you're doing synchro, yeah, you can tie yourself out quickly. Right. Next up, we have Sam Pickens and Kendall Knight. They're going to be doing a reverse dive pike on this dive. Did you like voluntaries or optionals? Definitely up? optionals. I was not a volunteer girl. I just like the big dives. I get that. The high Spinning degree of fast. difficulty. I was like, let's just have some fun. Exactly. And that was a very nice reverse dive from those two. Very clean lines. A lot mm -hmm. of these divers, it's a national meet, so mm -hmm. you're going to see a lot of clean lines. You can expect a lot execution from Execution scores. Exactly. Seven and a half, five and a half, six and a half, eight, seven, seven and a half. Final are already eight, seven, seven and oh, half. for sure. Synchronization like scores. Seven and a half, 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 exactly. six. And now we have Bacon a 301 B reverse dive pipe from Sarah Bacon B. and Cassidy Cook. Now Sarah Bacon in the prelim, she sadly had all of her toes hanging over the board. Hanging 10. <laughs> hanging 10. She <laughs> flung herself out in the middle of the pool and they only got 27 points on this. That is not something you see from them that often, no, but anything not. can happen in diving. That is a very good point. In this event, it is no one's, like, for sure, like, anything exactly. can happen. It's anyone's game. It's not over till it's over. Absolutely. And it's really important to remember that if you're winning or if you're in last, like, it, anything can happen. Exactly. And Sarah Bacon definitely made up from free She redeemed herself on that one. Yes, she did. <laughs> that was a very pretty dive from them. Execution She'll scores. She'll be happy with that. She Much eight happier. Eight and a half. Eight. Eight and a half. And she can replace that bad memory. Eight and a half. With a good memory. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Yeah. Synchronization awesome. scores. Eight and a half. Put some back up to eight. first place. Eight, eight and a half. They've been, eight and they've half. been leading Nine. for the whole event so far, so. Beginning yeah. round Carolina three of the synchronized Ballard men's second, platform. And Knight, Dean and, and Turner. Right in there 207 C. Now we're going to head up to the duo on 10 meter. Noah and Lenton. And now we're going to start seeing some optional dives. So this is when we do higher degree of difficulty. There's a lot more flipping. This is when your scores really start to matter, and this is when people can really start to just like take away, take off with absolutely. it. Absolutely. And this is a back three and a half, a very challenging dive. It is. I saw Lenton. He was having some trouble he was. in warm ups with this dive, and, was, and yeah. seeing him go right on his head, that's awesome. It Good is. for him. He sadly had a pretty bad smack on this dive. Execution score. Four, really and, and, four and a half. Four and a half. And that only happened a few weeks ago, so it four, is really three, impressive that he's back four. up there doing it again. Yeah, that takes a lot scores. of nerves. Some divers never five, can recover five, from that. Five, I don't know if I could. Five, Especially on 10 meter. It is a big deal. Floor and Cooper. So it is really exciting that you can come back and do the dive. They both landed a little short, a little under rotated. But, but I think they're very happy with that. They should be. Now we have the Miami duo doing a inward three and a half. You do this dive. Like, what is something you say before doing inward three and a half? Mm. I try to think about my rhythm because you're really just trying to like stay, have a flow throughout your entire diving. And so right. I'm thinking about my rhythm of my ankles because you'll see them go up onto their toes and then they're going to do a little ankle rhythm pop that. Mm -hmm. And that is really important because that sets up the entire dive. Exactly. It gets that motion just starting. That. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm trying to think about. It's just like, think about your rhythm. That was a really great dive. They're yes. going to get some good scores on that. Very, very good clean. Scores. Execution scores. I like eight, how together they were in the flips. Eight, eight, that they were just spinning eight at the and a half. Time. Seven and a half. Eight. Yeah, that is Synchronization scores. Big number from them. Seven. They're going to be happy with eight, that. Yes, they will. Eight. And eight, the same dive from the half. Purdue group. So it'll be interesting. Rezepka really and Lociavo. Exactly. 407C. As they're doing the exact same dive. And right. Now I know from my boys that this mm -hmm. is like one of their favorite dives. They think it's relatively easy um, <laughs> compared to the rest of the dives in the list that we'll see. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in the degree of difficulty. Like it only goes up from here. Yes. And so they like starting out with this dive. And if it's a good, confident dive, why not? That's what. Wow. Very good. Brandon Luciavo had zero splash he had on that zero dive. Splash. That was great. Jordan's was also really great, mm -hmm. really incredible. They were so together in their diving. Yeah. That looked very awesome. Execution the goal scores. was to be one diver. And they nine, did. They did. Nine. Very nine. Good. Wow. Seven and a half. That is a six, very good score. Six and a half. Okay, so now Synchronization scores. Still leading by six eight points. Eight and a half. But that was eight and a half. Really seven. Seven right. and a half. Eight. It is a tight. Beginning it's round three. It's a tight race. Yeah. Anything Women's happened, like we meter. said. Jensen now we're going to head back Huang, to three meter with C. Kayla and Mariana doing a front three and a half talk. For their first round of optionals. 
Front three and a half is a pretty challenging dive. It's a hard one. You don't really think about it, but it's three and a half flips in the air. You're not very high off the water. No. Spinning fast, and you have to kick out right at the same time. Wow, Gabby, their coach, looks very happy with that <laughs> one. He has his hands in the air. Yes, he's happy. I liked happy. it, too. They were very bouncy, Yes, which I liked. It was very impressive when you're young, when you don't do weight training. Five and a half, right. five and a half, off six. The board, but mm -hmm. they both did. Five and a half, six, And it's five. cool to see like, how the coaches interact. Synchronization like, score. Yes. They'll be five. I'm loving the coaches and a half. I did, too. Five. I love it. Because they, they're probably five and a half. almost, if not more nervous than you are. I say they are. Not and you guys, they're just watching. They're just watching, and hopefully the training paid off, and they know what's going on. Gabby looked very happy. Here's two. Yes, I love that. Me, too. Now we have a back two and a half from Ella and Avery. I, I feel like reverses and backs are, the, at least for a lot of people, are the harder ones because they're blind mm. entries. Absolutely. You definitely see more trouble with that. As you right. see, Avery landed pretty short on her back. And sometimes it's just due to spotting errors, mm -hmm. meaning you don't see the right cue and right. You dive, and then you come out at the wrong time. Or sometimes you're just a little slow. And exactly. Execution scores. Like I know, like scores. a lot of you looking four for the board, looking three, for the water, four counting and, and make sure you kick three and right and at the same four time, and half, right at the three exact and time and you need to go. Right There's a lot going on just to come out at the right half, place, and, and it's all in five, a second or two. Five yes, and a half. Happens two and a half. Yes. I like to see the water and what's in front of me. So Palmer and Hayden. Two oh five B. And I see it again on the second rotation. Really, just making sure I know where I am in my dive. It's yeah. very important. And when you do it so many times, you get used to those mm -hmm. spots. And, and that's know. when you come to a new pool, you have to practice a few times because then your spotting is different. Exactly. And you have to get used to a different layout of the pool. Mm -hmm. Here we have Krista Palmer and Kristen Hayden. They are going to be doing a back two and a half pike. So the same dive we just saw, but now in the pike position. Mm -hmm. So a little bit harder. Yes, yeah, so their legs are going to be straight rather than in a tuck. They're mm -hmm. bent. And this is not an easy dive to get around. No, it's not. But I know both of them can do it very well. And I remember them doing it pretty well in the prelim. Let's see if they can top it. That was pretty nice. I think that was better. I remember Chris mm -hmm. being a little bit short in the prelim, so that was, I bet she's happy with that one. Right. They looked like they washed a hair bit, mm -hmm. but they both seemed like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Execution scores. Seven. Seven and a half. Seven. seven pretty seven good scores. Yeah. Very seven, good. Seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. Synchronization yes, scores. Sure. Great first Eight, round of the options. Seven and a half. Eight. Seven and a half. Seven and, and a half. And it's just cool to see like how many people show up. Lemkin this and Fox. And Fox to score mm -hmm. the divers. Five C. Like this is just a little town in West Virginia. Like and it's, people are here to cheer on all the competitors. It's, it's really so great. cool to see Olympians here mm -hmm. and just the atmosphere. Yes. Next up, we have Anna and Taylor doing an inward two and a half tuck. Now, this is a dive I enjoy. This is always yeah. a dive that I enjoyed. This is one you learned pretty early on in your diving career. Yes. I'd say. Mm -hmm. One of the first optionals. Mm -hmm. That was a that pretty, was pretty good nice. dive. Very good dive. A little bit of a lower degree yes. than we'll see a lot of them do, but if they hit it, the, the scores will come in. It will. And what's interesting Execution about that inward is that they have their knees together in their inwards, mm -hmm. in their tuck position, seven, which most people seven, either seven open and up their legs and their knees or scores. just their knees and keep their toes together. Half, but seven, they were just a little seven, ball. Uh -huh, and that's half, what the judges want to see. They don't want to see a big cowboy. Mm -mm, no, they do not. Makes the tuck dive and Whitty very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. five C. And now we have a Ripfest and Wolverine, Bailey and Lily, doing, again, in return half talk. I feel like this is a very good optional to start with. There's not a hurdle. Mm -hmm. Very, um, I would say more calm than it other would. dives. Absolutely. And I think it's important to really know your own diving. So if you're someone who does get a little, some jitters and you wouldn't benefit from doing a hurdle in your first dive, that's right. okay. Make them later. Yeah. Like, you know yourself the best. You yes. Know. And that was a very nice dive from them. Execution Both scores. Both pretty, mm -hmm. same Six height. And seven. Seven. Same seven. Time. Five and a half. I know for me, I always like to start with dives that you are confident with. Synchronization scores. And with dives I was confident and put the, the harder Six dive dives right in the middle. Like Six round three, you probably five. Exactly. My back's again. That was me. 107 B. Next up, we have Ann Fowler and Carolina Sculty doing a 107 B mm -hmm. front three and a half pike position. It was a little slow this morning in the prelim, but I've seen them really nail this dive, and so I'm excited to see it in the final. This is a dive you see in the Olympics from the mm -hmm. women's synchro. Yes. There is like an Olympic list that's important to know, and this is one of those dives. Carolina looked a little yeah. sluggish, not as high, so she mm -hmm. landed a little short. She was not able to get around fully to her head, so she landed a little sh 
sure on her stomach, but Anne Fowler had a very nice dive. Yes, execution score. It, it all kind of depends on the hurdle. Seven, if you get a good hurdle, the dive would be much easier. If you three, have a bad hurdle leading three, forward, three and a half. Make it around. Synchronization scores. And your three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Four. Four. Right, right That's in the middle. The best, Knight the and Pickens. Mm -hmm. Four oh five. Beat. Where you want your feet to end, but. It surprisingly it does not happen that often. It, no, it doesn't. And you have to deal with you have to learn how to deal with mm -hmm. that and work with the board. Which so is just as important as going on a bad hurdle. Exactly, yes. That's why coaches like to say, try to take every hurdle because yes. you never know what you're gonna get in the meets. Mm -hmm. Next up we have Kendall Knight and Sam Pickens, and they are doing an inward two and a half pike. And a lot of the later divers you'll see, they're going to be doing their dives in pike. That's mm -hmm. the higher degree of difficulty, which will hopefully get yes. you the higher score. That was pretty good. That was pretty nice. They were a little bit off on their synchro. Right. I think and Sam Pippen was a hair mm -hmm. short, didn't get as much height off yeah. the board as she wanted to. And you can kind of see her turning just a little bit. Execution which scores. Execution scores. Because they're worried six, about hitting their six, feet maybe. Six or six and a half. Have they have seven. Yet. Seven. But you're really trying six, to stay square. Synchronization and scores. Yeah. And six, six and a half. 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 Seven. Six. Right. But I think overall, still Bacon pretty good dive. Bacon be happy with it. And now we have Sarah Bacon and Cassidy Cook. And we can see comparison because they're doing the same exact dive. And when I did this dive, honestly, I like this dive. Did this you? was one of my, like, this was the first pike I ever learned oh, in wow. that pike, and I enjoyed this dive. I've never done it, but I trust you. <laughs> it's sometimes, the first couple of times it's scared because I'm always like, am I, am I too you close? You never gonna make it, yeah. But once you get the hang of it, it's, mm. it's pretty good. It's a pretty fun Sarah dive. Sarah in the prelim over rotated just a little bit. And so she cleaned that up in the final. She that was did. A lot better. Cassie looked a little bit more splashy mm -hmm. than Sarah's, but yeah. still vertical, and I think the Execution scores are going to come in. Execution scores. Right. Six, six and a half, seven and a half, wow. eight. And now eight. the girls only have two seven rounds and left. Yep. And eight. They have a 40 point Synchronization lead. scores. Wow. Wow. Seven and a half, That's seven and a half. Pretty good. Seven and a half. Exactly. Seven and a half. Eight. eight. And I remember yesterday, it was round yesterday four we men synchronized synchro, men's Tyler platform. Downs and Greg Duncan Dean just and Turner ran away with it. 407 yeah, seats. I think they, they lapped They everyone. lapped, so they didn't even have to do their last dive to still qualify for Worlds. They could have failed and still made Worlds. That's that's an impressive feat right there. It is. They did a great job. Now we have the young group up on 10 meter, and we're three and a half. I've never done this dive, and I'm glad that I never did it. <laughs> Some people are scared to see people throwing themselves towards the tower, but... Once you get the used to it, you're not even worried about that at all. I, Your I, body knows what to do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that was pretty good. That, that was, was pretty, pretty good. good. Their sinker was a little bit off, but individually their dives were pretty nice. Execution scores. Yeah, I could see just a little tight on the water. They're like three and a half. But that just five and a half. Yeah. Absolutely. Four. And they're young. Four. And Four. hopefully in a couple years, they'll see them as world champions. Uh -huh. Three and a half. Five and a half. It would be. Four and a half. From diving with whoever's going to qualify and going there themselves, that'd be really great. Yes. Flory and Cooper. Now we have Max and Zach doing a reverse three and a half. Now what's interesting is this is the only difference in dives um, for the optionals between Zach and Max and Jordan and Brandon. Um, they're doing a reverse three and a half tuck while the other pair will be doing a back three and a half pike. Both very hard dives. Very hard <laughs> dives. There is a degree of difficulty difference by 0.2. This is the lower degree. Lower. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine doing this dive. That, that's a mm. lot of spinning. Reverse three and a half was scary enough for me. <laughs> That was pretty okay. good. That was pretty good. And definitely better a step up from their prelim right. score. Um, Max was very clean in his entry. Cooper was just a little bit short, Real a little short. bit splashy, mm -hmm. but overall pretty good. Execution their score was scores. very nice. They piked out at the same six. time. Right. Six and a half. Seven and a half. Just trying to make six. sure that six. he kind of locks in that entry mm -hmm. a little more. Exactly. Six and a half. Seven. Seven. Not a bad, not seven. Not a bad not dive at all. Six and a half. half. No. Five and a half. And now we get to see Rezepka and Loshiavo. 207 back three and a half pike, which is a very big dive. That is a huge dive, and I've seen both of them crush it. Yes. And they're trying to crush it at the same time. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got to do your dive as well, but you want to hope that your partner, partner does the does same it. thing. And so some people just like to focus on themselves and just trust that their partner is going right. to do the same thing. And mm -hmm. Wow. That was great. That was really <laughs> exciting. 
That's so fun to watch. Oh, and it's such a great feeling when you have such a hard dive and you're mm -hmm. coming out of the water <laughs> knowing that you just hit it. You look at each other and like, we you're just like, did that. that. That just happened. We did that. That, that was, was amazing. Very scores. exciting. Six and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half. Very six and a half, six, six, What I liked about that, six. it's such a hard dive. And they Synchronization really scores. Up. They jumped seven and a half, out, seven and a half, and they spun super seven, fast. Six, and so they seven. knew where they were. They saw the water. They Beginning round out, four of our synchronized women's nice. three meters. And you can hear Jensen that hit the water. Yes, you can. Flat hands. Yeah, that was a 75 point dive. Wow. Very big dive from them. But in internationals, you're hoping for 90s. Absolutely. 90s, high 90s to Another make it. Another 16-point lead over Max and Zach. But still, two more dives. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Here we got Kayla and Mariana doing a back two and a half. Not too bad. I feel both of them were a hair mm -hmm. short. A hair short. I really was the start to me is that right. I think was happening. They Execution really scores. Mm -hmm. Five, so six and a half, harder to six, rotate it is. four and yeah. a half, four, four and a half. Make sure you get a really good jump. Synchronization so scores. Really get yes. the spin and then they can kick out. One moment, please. Now we have Ella and Avery. They're doing a reverse two and a half. So the same dive we just saw, but just facing forward and spinning yes, backwards. Spinning backwards. A l I know for me, learning gainers was pretty scary. It's a very scary. That's one of the big it dives is. to learn. Especially because you're rotating towards the board, so some people get a little wary about that. Right. But these divers, they know what they're doing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. M main thing to look for is just make sure their head's in, get a good jump, mm -hmm. and bring their legs up, and that's that keeps them at the safe distance. Yes. When they start lifting their head, their body weight goes backwards. Mm -hmm. so that's where you want to stay away from. Yeah. So it seems like we're having a little bit of an issue, but... Divers are used to that. They we are. No Technical difficulties happen. They We're have. Okay it's it. technology. You never scores. trust technology. Execution scores. But they five and a half, down, six and a half, six. Mm -hmm. Make sure four they're in the right four, mindset. Four and, and a half. When they're ready. Synchronization scores. Yep. Three and a half, five and a half, five, three and a half, three and a half. Roselli and Geis, 305C. So tomorrow, the events that are happening are the one meter for both men and, and women. women. Yep. yep. Getting that out of the way and then moving back to the higher events. Yes, which one meter is not an Olympic event, but it does still qualify you for Worlds. So right. our top two divers in the one meter event will get to go to Japan. Ooh. The the jump was not the same no. from both of them. They were not in sync, and they said they both landed short, which in synchronized scores. synchronized diving, three, even if you guys two both and a half, land on three, your backs, the judges can score the synchro four, well if four, the individual dive synchronization isn't scores. Up right. Three, so you, three, which is interesting. Three, that's not how it three, used to be. It's a rule change. That, mm -hmm. like, if you Palmer do the same and Hayden, mess up, you still can't get the first synchro. Right, because mm -hmm. I was like, if you both land flat on your back, the synchro that's was a great good. synchro. <laughs> but sadly, the judges have to score it no higher than they would individually. Which I get. Usually. I do get mm -hmm. that because you want to dive well individually yes. and then synced up. Yeah. Now we have. Krista Palmer and Kristen Hayden doing a 107B, and this was one that they had a little trouble in the beginning. Yeah, in the Kristen's prelims. hurdle in her 107 was a little funky. She was spinning towards her partner. It was a little scary. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, got to stay right in the middle. That's Already what she looking was. better. Yes. <laughs> Krista, Krista was a little short. I was not expecting that. So Me neither. I think her start was very nice. It was very dynamic. She was jumping mm -hmm. high. I think she might have just come out a little early. Got yeah, a little she was excited. like, this is a good start. I'm going to come out a little early. Scores. It just wasn't exactly seven, where she was. Six, seven, but four, uh, Krista's going to be happy with that. She stayed right in the middle, not heading for that. Krista. Yes. <laughs> five, five. Now we have half, Anna five and, and half, Taylor. Five and a half. They're doing a three and a half. A very... Lemkin a lot of the earlier um, groups have a lot of similar seat. dives, mm -hmm. so it's cool to compare them and yep. then compare the later groups. Yes. Yeah, they are competing all tuck dives, which is very standard, especially when you're a junior diver. Exactly. When you get older, start doing collegiate, then mm -hmm. you can start throwing the pipes. They start doing the bigger dives, mm -hmm. yes. That was wow. a very nice back to and a half. And it had a very <laughs> nice entry. That was gorgeous. Very pretty. Wow. So did Taylor. That was a really great dive. I'm really impressed with their tuck. I'll say it again. Yeah. It is very clean. Execution I love her scores. Lines. Seven and a half. Just makes diving look so pretty and easy. Seven. That's the goal. Yes, seven and a half. That's the goal. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Ooh, Synchronization that is a scores. Very good dive. Seven. Seven. Because it is a lower GD six than you see half, from Cassidy and Cook and mm -hmm. like the Sam Pickens. Sturgill and Witty. But with a lower C. degree, you can still get the high points. Yes, you can. And now we have Bailey and Lily. They are doing a reverse two and a half. Hoping to make sure their hurdles are in sync and right in the middle. 
which they've been looking really good with their volunteers. Very good yes. dive from them. Their synchronization is spot on. They've mm -hmm. been queen the entire time. They were both a little bit short on their right. entries. Execution score. Trying to get their hands back on the water a, a little bit more Seven to make sure they get Six. right up and down. Five and a half. But Five I think and they're be happy with Six. that. Yeah. Synchronization I know I would be score. happy. Right? I would be happy. Six and a half. Six. Now we Six and have and Ann Six Fowler and, and, and Carolina. Half. They're doing a back to Fowler and Skulti. 205 Big dive B. from them. And I noticed some of the divers like to go to the hot tub. Some of them mm -hmm. like to go to showers. Everyone has a different routine. And it's really important to know, as I was saying before, know yourself as a diver. What right. do you like to do in between dives? Because mm -hmm. especially in the prelim, when you have lots of time to wait, you need to make sure you're doing everything you can for your body and your mind right to stay calm to mm -hmm. stay fresh though but also saying like still like you get your blood moving and stuff so without stretching or doing a right. few jumps or sitting in the hot tub mm -hmm. it's important to do what's best for your body and your mind exactly and that was a pretty good dive from them it looked like carolina was a hair short yeah she looks a little bit slow in this final but that's totally okay <laughs> Execution scores. Very challenging. Seven and a half. It is. Seven. Very six. Hard. And it's hard. This is her second five, list of the day. Six, like, right. Five. Very to the Synchronization time. scores. Mm -hmm. They're, they're six and probably used to practice seven, once, six, maybe twice. Right. Six and a half. So having to come back hours Night later at the prelims. It can be 205 B. Yes. And they got 57 points. And so this is a scenario where the lower degree of difficulty back to Neptug got a higher score mm -hmm. than Pike. Mm hmm. And that can happen. That can happen. But 57 is still a great score. Very good score. Now we have a back to nap pike from Kendall Knight and Sam Pickens. And Sam Pickens has been diving a long time. Yes, she has. She has a lot of experience. She and, does. And you can see it in her diving. Mm -hmm. She can stay calm under mm -hmm. pressure and just knows how to turn it on when it's time. Yes. And Kendall Knight went to Kentucky. Yes. Wow. That was a that good was a dive. Really nice dive. You can hear the crowd cheering. Yes, the crowd agrees with us. <laughs> yes, very pretty dive. I love their pike. Their legs are so long and like their like extensions on everything is mm -hmm. just really beautiful. They both knew where to Execution come out. Execution scores. Exactly. Together. Six and a half. And that's six, what you're looking for a single partner. Same six diving and, half, and knowing seven, that your partner seven, can hit when it's time. Yeah. Synchronization scores. So that'll get seven and a half. Six six seven and a half. Oh, for sure. Seven and a half. That'll definitely put them in the first place six and before the last pair. Yes. Bacon and Cook, and they 107 B. 23 points, 24 yeah. points to get back to four first. They are going to be doing a front three and a half pike. And I noticed the peep, the pairs that take like have been like internationally diving do take a little longer than others. Mm-hmm. How would they get themselves composed, get their mm -hmm. minds right? Now, what's interesting to me about that dive is that their synchro was definitely a little off, but individually they had really, really stunning nice dives. dives. They were both had really clean entries. They made Execution it really Execution scores. But their synchro is definitely half, to get hit. Seven, it will. seven and a half. And it seven, all started from the seven hurdle. And a half, it seven like. and a half. Right yes. from the hurdle. Synchronization so scores. You can tell that four like, and a half, they were coming five, down at different times, five, and so they were just four, not together in the three air. Three and a half. But they both Beginning had to dive five well, and they did that. So. They did. so the individual scores be good. Turner, yes. The sink will be a little lower. Sealer. Yep. And now we have the boys up on 10 meter doing a reverse three and a half tuck. I can't imagine a 14 year old wow. doing a reverse three and a half. That is one big dive. It is. They look fearless up there. How do you feel up there? They look fearless oh, up there. Oh, they do look fearless. I think anyone up there has to be. Just a little bit. Oh. Ah. Lenzen just came out a little early. Didn't get the, yeah. the good jump off that I've seen before. He was a little bit slow, and then he came out pretty early, so he sadly just landed very under-rotated on his back. It he looks fine. Execution that, it scores. Happens. It happens it to happens. everyone. One and a half. One and a half. One and a half. Yeah. Four. Sadly getting four, four, and a half. Five and a half. Synchronization scores. One and a half. But still, two, just being able to do that dive is a feat in itself. Two and a half. Absolutely. One. one. And that's that's what really matters. You're getting the experience here. and Cooper. Mm -hmm. 52. Making 55 is feet. Totally it's, okay. it's, it's part really, of the game. It is. It's part of the game. It everyone. Now we have back two and a half with two and a half twists from Max and Zach. And like you said, the next two dives from both the final two teams are going to be the same, same exact. So it's whoever does it better. Whoever does it better. With Jordan and Brendan only having a 16-point lead. It's crazy. They're about 33 feet in the air. That's three stories. That 
It's when a you, lot. When you think about it, it's like, wow, that is insane. You can tell looking over, it's just as scary as it looks. Mm -hmm. That was a nice dive. It was. You could see that Zach Cooper was a little bit lower in the air than Max Flory, and so he also didn't make his dive just as well, but they were still on their heads. Execution right. scores. They could have been a little seven, tighter in the water seven, to make six, sure that hole is six made and a half. to yeah. make that rip entry. Five but and a half. Synchronization scores. Oh, we're all pretty good. Yeah. Seven, six, six and a half, six and, and, and a half, diving, you're always five and a half. Perfection, so... Mm -hmm. Rezepka and Most times in the water, it's like, you know you can do this a little bit better. But most servers are perfectionists in themselves, right. but mm -hmm. it's important to be happy with the other things that went well in the dive. Right. And they did a lot well in that dive. Yes, looking at the positives compared mm -hmm. to just the negatives. Yes. And we have your teammates. Yes. Doing the same dive. Back two and a half with two and a half twists. 3.6 degree of difficulty. Wow. Individually, individually, really great. Beautiful. We had a similar problem with Jordan being a little bit lower than Brandon. That's just due to the different start. Brandon probably jumped a little bit higher, finished his jump, but individually, that was a really Execution great dive. Execution scores. Right. And, and the sinker was not bad at all. It was not. Just a little hair lower on we Jordan's part, but and they well, got 74 points on that dive. Execution Another scores eight and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, seven, wow. six and a half, six and a half. And one dive Synchronization yeah. scores. And what's interesting for Jordan six and a half, is that he does six a different and a half, twister six and a half, so he learned seven, that dive six. just for his synchro partner. Wow. Beginning our fifth so, and final round. That's a hard dive to learn for just for women's three meter. It's a very hard dive. He's very Jensen and Huang. Yes. I, I feel like he loves twisters. He must. He's so good at them. He twists so fast. He does. And just knows always where he's at. Yes. And we have the final round for the women. We have a 405C from Kayla and Mariana. Pretty solid dive to end with. Very, no hurdle. Mm -hmm. Good dive to start or end with. Yes. And that was a nice dive. It was. Gabby's happy again. He has his fist <laughs> in the air. He, he approves. He approves. And that's always fun to see from, it's, like, as your athlete. Like, yes, as the athlete, like, your coach Execution happy. scores. It makes you feel better. It does six, make you feel better. Six, six and a half. Six, five and a half, and five and a half. Really Synchronization well. scores. Very encouraging. Six, They're always trying to look six, at like what six, went well in the dive. Six and a half, and we five and a half. And analyze and like videos. Roselli like, and right. Geis. Better, but they're really, 53, they 35 sure deep. They make feel like you're still doing great. Exactly. Because you really are. Like yeah. everyone is still. <laughs> And it's always so cool. Like they, they have their, uh, David's always having his iPad coming oh, yes. over watching. Video is very important. It we is. Have videos of tons of divers from like every world meet. We're like videotaping them so we can watch other people's diving. And you get to learn from them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a reverse twist. Well, I love that dive. I don't like reverse twists. You don't? Like, I can never do that. It's so beautiful. I could never. They are beautiful, but I could never. Yes, and they did that one really well. That was a reverse they one did. Half with two and a half twists. And that's a really cool dive to see. Execution scores. I don't think I've ever seen that one seen before. Seven. Seven. Think either. Seven. It's a really seven and cool and dive. Seven. Seven and a half. Just not for me. Synchronization scores. Not for me. I was six and a half. Way too early. Six and a half. Seven. Six. Very cool dive to see. And I think the crowd Palmer like that and too. Hayden. It's the judges. 54. They got 54. Right, it's different than what you see from most of the event. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Now this is definitely a really big dive, the biggest of this event by far. It's a we call it a double out in diving, but it is two and a half flips with two twists. Very few women do this dive in the world. In the world, it is very impressive to see this. And it was a little bit of a problem for Kristen in the prelim. Hurdle looks better. That was there we impressive. Go. That was impressive. <laughs> That's so cool to see two girls synced up together yes. doing that dive. Not trust enough that that is a very difficult dive. Execution for score. It's hard to do it for Five, men. Four and yes. A lot of men. Four and it's and hard half. for them. Six and a half. Seven. And that is seven and really and cool to see. I know they'll be so happy. With that. A very big step up six from the half, score. Six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. I know they were a little. Six they were a little down six, after. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So coming in. Lemkin Open mind. New day. New dive. Five C. Shows. It does. Now we have Anna and Taylor doing a 305C. I don't know if I could ever put reverse two and a half last. It, it's a bold move. It's it is. ambitious for sure. But if they know they can hit it, not too bad. Mm -hmm. They looked like they were just a little bit off in this final, always just a little under over rotated. Right. But they've got a lot of years ahead of them. They do. And Execution and scores. In this meet in yes. Six. And it's they have some five and great and diving that six we and saw. Half. Exactly. Five, and you can really tell that they both know where they are in the air. Right. Synchronization really scores. Mm -hmm. Five and a half. Six. Six, other six and a half. On. Six. Four. Now we have Sturgill Bailey and, and Lily. They are finishing seat. with a back two and a half tuck. 
four more diver, four more groups, and then we are finishing up with the men, and then that's it. Yes, it's been a great night so far. It has been. And it's only day four. Yeah. Out of day, like, eight or nine. There's a lot of them to come. <laughs> there are. I wow. like that. I love that dive. Bailey, she really ripped her entry. That you can was, hear it the whole way up here with yes, the hands on the water. Execution There's scores. no splash coming out from that. Five, six, five and a half. Lily also had a really seven, great dive. She had a little bit more splash half, in her seven, entry, but they were really together in the scenario, which they have been six all night. They have seven, been, they've six been and together and the yes, whole time. Have. They're clearly in sync up there. Mm -hmm. that was Fowler and Sculpty. And they just look like they're having fun. 51-52-B. Now we have Ann Fowler and Carolina finishing with a full out, and the last three are doing all the same dive. All the full same out. dive. I'm pretty sure this is definitely a favorite for a lot of three meter divers. Yes. Wow. That was a good one. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I really love both of their diving. They both look so gorgeous and elegant mm -hmm. in their lines in their pike in their twist that was really stunning to watch they've been diving for a while and it shows mm -hmm. it does carolina was maybe a hair lower mm -hmm. than Anne, but together it did look very very pretty yes it has 60 points for them that's a great dive to end with you got an eight in there too wow now we have Kendall Knight and Sam Pickens. Same dive. And in the prelims, they nailed this. Mm -hmm. They got 70 points. Wow. That is very impressive. Very good dive from them in the prelims. And they only need 38 points to overtake Kristen and Kristen. But then, of course, we have Sarah Bacon and Cassie Cook afterwards. And is the top spot that goes it's to Japan. Mm -hmm. Where in Japan is it? Do you know? Oh, I'm not sure exactly. but <laughs> Somewhere in Japan. Somewhere. <laughs> Have you ever scores for Fowler and Skolte? I have been internationally in Grand Prix and also in Junior Worlds and Junior Pans. That's awesome. It's really exciting. Six and a half. Seven. Synchronization scores. Most of the real ones are there. Six and a half. Seven. 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 Six. Five and a half. Right. It's really exciting. Knight and Pickens. Where's your favorite place that you competed? Fifty-one. Fifty-two B. Well, I did get to compete in Mission Viejo as we were talking about that pool, mm -hmm. which was really excited to be in your hometown because it was in yeah. like our, our home country, obviously. Right. Which was just like so exciting because there was such a big like fan base. Mm -hmm. But I really loved competing in Chile. It was Santiago. That's it was awesome. gorgeous. Yeah. I've only competed a few times internationally. It was for the Camo Invitational up in oh, Canada, mm -hmm. Montreal. Yep. That's a fun meet to go to. That is a fun meet. And they just came back from Montreal. A lot of divers. Yeah, yeah, that was very exciting. A lot of them are here right now with us. That was a very pretty dive from them. That's gorgeous. Their synchro Execution was scores. Seven, was really seven, seven and a half. Se seven, seven. Very good score. Seven, seven, seven and a half. Synchronization scores. Seven, seven, now, seven, seven and, 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 seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. 36 points to win this event. So basically, Bacon and they just Cook need to do the dive. They just wanted to dive and hit the head first. We don't need anything special. Just, yeah. But I think they, they wanted something. They want they, something special. Absolutely. I want something special, too. <laughs> I would love, not mind to see it. <laughs> I think they did it. That was something there special. There we go. That was a very nice ending dive for them. Very good dive. And I think they're excited Execution for Japan. Scores. I think they're ready for Japan. Eight I think they are eight, definitely eight, ready. They've eight, been preparing a lot. They've been training a lot eight, with each other. Eight, which right. They don't Synchronization dive the same scores. Pool, so it's sometimes eight, harder to like eight and a half, get together. Eight, and mm -hmm. Seven and a half. And that's impressive. And they don't dive together every single day. Like mm -hmm. your teammates, Brandon and uh, the Jordan. They dive every day. Like, final when round. Yes. They can dive any day they want. And it's definitely a really big benefit to have the same coach. Dean and giving you similar corrections. Right, three and then B. you can train, of course, anytime you want to practice. Mm -hmm. Now we have the final dive from the young group, Noah and Layton, doing a back two and a half with one and a half twists. This is this was one of my favorite dives up there. Back two and a half, one and a half on ten was one of my favorites. Me too. It's definitely one of my favorites as well. I'm excited to see them do it. I heard the, I heard their hands on the water. <laughs> you can hear the hand on their water. Sadly, they were a little bit off in their synchro. Um, Layton was just like a little bit lower. And yeah, and he's smaller. He doesn't have as much muscle. Score. It's hard to know what does. So yeah, five, and then their individual four, dives were also just a little three, bit off. Two and a half, three and a half. But 
synchronization that event scores. for them, I think three, they're going to be happy. Three. I hope four, they are. I hope three and a so. half. Two and a half. I hope they're just having fun. Just going in the meet, having fun. Flory and what Cooper. More can also, my Intel just came in Fukuoka, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Intel. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now we have a 109C, which is a front four and a half tuck. This is a lot of flips to do in one dive. It was a little bit rough for Max and Coop in the prelim, but we both know that they can hit this dive really well. Oh, absolutely. Not too bad. They ended a little short yeah. on vertical. Their synchro was good. Max, Max's dive was pretty vertical. That was pretty good. It was pretty clean. But Coop was sadly landing pretty short, pretty under rotated. Their Execution synchro, however, scores. they spun at the same time, which Six, was really impressive. Five and a half, seven, I think three, a three, three. Right. Synchronization scores. Four. But they still have an individual event. Four and a half. Four. Two. They're going to come back to do much. As well as they can. Our final they want to do. Comes they want to from improve. Rizenta they know. They know what they Loshiabo, can improve, and they're going to hopefully do that yeah. and nail it in the individual. True, this is not their last event, which mm -mm. is always something. Now, Brando and Jordan, they only need 24 points <laughs> to take the title. That's like twos. Punts their ticket, and yeah, because this is a 3.7 degree of difficulty dive, and, and they did it in the prelim for 80 points. I'm pretty sure. They're that going to take, they're going to Japan. They punched their ticket. Congratulations, <laughs> boys. That was That's awesome. That's awesome. It's such a big dive, and they did it so well. They jumped so high. They're so dynamic. Exactly. Execution they know scores. exactly where they are. Yes, they, they probably just trained that dive nine, so much, more than I can imagine. Five and a half. And five and, and a half. Five. Though, with 10 meters on, you can't Synchronization just scores. Like an endless amount six of and a half. Right. Seven. Really tough six on your and a half. It really is. You have to be really six. smart and like, deliberate about when you're going up 10 meters. This concludes tonight's finals. Will the top three teams you hit the water yes. right to the and metal one staging one area. Yes, tight, for you sure. do. And they won. The Their points are going are to uh, Japan. Until that was a really exciting event. It, it was. The schedule. And I'm excited for Please join more us diving upstairs this week. For me dinner. too. I'm excited to dive myself After the awards. Also. Well, thanks for joining me. This was fun. This is great. It is. I, it's been Nick Spectators. over. I'm so free If you could please and exit I guess we'll see you using later the this far week. door. Bye. The concourse is full of goodie bags and food. Country roads lead to new beginnings.
with new opportunities around each mountain bend. Here, we don't just pride ourselves on being the best, we commit to it. Designing world-class facilities with premier resources, backed by our communities who are determined to aid in our success. Together, we'll reach new heights. We welcome you to the place where you belong. We are ready to present the awards for the synchronized men's platform. Presenting your awards tonight is Tom Bloom, Mon County Commissioner. Your bronze medalists 
Leighton Dean and Noah Turner. Your silver medalists, Max Flory and Zach Cooper. And your 2023 USA Diving National Champions, Jordan Rezepka and Brandon Lociabo. Congratulations to all. We are now ready to present the awards for the synchronized women's three meter. Your bronze medalists, Krista Palmer and Kristen Hayden. Your silver medalists, Kendall Knight and Samantha Pickens. And your 2023 USA Diving National Champions, Sarah Bacon and Cassidy Cook. Congratulations to all. A reminder to the spectators to please exit via the far doors all the way down there. And coaches, athletes, table workers, join us upstairs on the second floor for dinner and swag bags.